I'm Rob Zombie, and uh, this is my house, so uh, come on inside, and I'll show you some weird stuff. There's no doubt that Rob Zombie is one of the most eccentric artists out there. If you've ever wondered what kind of place he calls home, I'm here to show you. And although it's a beautiful mansion in Los Angeles, it does have a dark and spooky vibe like you might have guessed. Apparently the zombies have spent a total of over 7 mil creating their tree shaded dark compound up in the hills. We'll see where Rob currently calls home where he used to live and his horror basement. We even found some of the listings. Rob Zombie born Robert Bartley Cummings is a singer, songwriter, filmmaker, and much more. I gotta say, he might just be my favorite man of metal, clearly. I've been a fan since I was four. I was a weird kid, I actually printed out pics of him when I was in kindergarten and taped them to my wall. He and his wife Sherry Moon Zombie, yes those are their legal names, have created a comfortable life for themselves in the Hollywood Hills, and Rob's had quite the successful career. After starting off as a founding member of the heavy metal band White Zombie, he attempted his first solo effort back in 1996 with a song performed or written with Alice Cooper. Zombie then went on to release a couple of super successful solo albums, his most notable being Hellbelly Deluxe, which spawned three huge singles and sold three million copies. Aside from his music, he's a successful director in the horror movie industry with films under his belt like House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, and more. If you're a fan like me, you'd agree that Zombie's work is in a league of its own. All things considered, Zombie has amassed a current net worth estimated at $50 million. The empire he's built has afforded him some pretty gorgeous homes over the years as well. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be giving you all the details on where the horror slash meta legend Rob Zombie calls home, including his current compound in the Hollywood Hills and more. We'll even check out his horror basement. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've all done house tours on the likes of Rob's buddy Marilyn Manson, which actually inspired me to do this one, and plenty of other celebs which we'll link to at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we look at where Rob Zombie currently lives, let's check out a place he used to call home in Hancock Park. This is the home that once upon a time Rob showed off on MTV Crips. According to that, the house spans 7,000 square feet with two beds and five baths. More recent information about the house says it actually has six bedrooms instead of two, so I guess MTV lied to us all. Zombie bought the home back in 1999 for 1.7 million and lived there for many years while having a second home in Connecticut. He didn't put the Hancock Park house on the market until 2014. The half Tudor half timber home was built in 1924 and sat on a half acre lot, sheltered by plenty of trees. Walking in the home, we can see the wood paneled living room and pub rooms as well as a formal entryway. Zombie decorated the home in his unique taste with some taxidermy animals, movie posters, and his knight in shining armor. Well, in the entryway we have our armor because every house needs a suit of armor. In the listing photos, we can see the large stuffed bear in the living room with the high wood beam ceilings and fireplace. In MTV Cribs, we can see Rob actually had the place decked out even further with taxidermy animals all over and other strange decorations that only he would have. This is a polar bear from the Adams Family, the original Adams Family, not the movies or anything else, the real one. The kitchen here had been remodeled and included a butler's pantry. We redid the whole kitchen and when we were done, we looked at it and thought, it doesn't look that different from when we started. There's also a home movie theater and a gym. Not to mention, Rob had his very own unique pirate bar. I can't say I've seen one of those before. They got our Captain Hook and our skulls and our Jolly Rogers and all the things to make it for a good pirate. Among the other rooms in Zombie's previous home, there was his movie library, which was pretty impressive. You know, back when we could still watch VHS. And he and Sherry Moon's previous master suite, which was completely decorated like Disney's The Haunted Mansion, including the wallpaper. We went and tried to find every tacky thing we could find, and it kind of feels just like, you know, a, a guest bedroom at The Haunted Mansion. Rob's previous property also contained a guest house, pool house, and a boulder-surrounded swimming pool and spa. In the end, the zombies parted with this place for 3.9 
1.95 million, making a few mil on the sale. After leaving Hancock Park, Mr. Zombie moved on to his current Laurel Canyon home, which combines mid-century and spooky in the perfect way. According to records, Zombie purchased the home for just under 2.5 million. The Thorgerson residence, as it has been named, was built in 1953 by architect Robert Thorgerson and is tucked away deep in a fairly remote area of the celeb-filled Laurel Canyon area in the Hollywood Hills. It sits on a secluded law and the home's wall of glass and unique folded roof line are hidden from street view. Of course, the home has been restored since and equipped with all of the modern luxuries. It has a dark vibe right away, maybe because the exterior even appears to be black, but it looks cool enough for the zombies to call home. Inside it spans 2,236 square feet with two beds and two baths on a pretty large lot for the neighborhood spanning almost 15,000 square feet. The home has 14 foot ceilings, a unique roof line, and walls of glass. A dark cave-like area you can see in one of the listing photos is the walkway down to access the front door. There's a large living room, a dining room that overlooks the pool, and a large family room that opens up to the indoor slash outdoor koi pond. Not to mention the renovated kitchen offers top of the line appliances and a center island with bar seating. The zombie's dungeon-like master bedroom also has 14-foot ceilings and windows way high up that they'd be hard to gaze out of. It reminds me of a bigger, fancier bunkie because of that. There's also a TV set and fireplace here. The master bath is slightly brighter and also comes with a soaking tub. Other rooms in Rob's home include a small second bedroom which had a hot pink couch at the time of purchase, a home office, and a mural of a French bulldog on one of the walls. Many of the rooms in the house also look out to the Richley Landscape Yard, the work of a renowned landscape architect, Garrett Ekbo. Outside, you'll find a pool with wooden deck above and another water feature at the front of the home. Not to mention, by the pool and deck, there's a spacious flagstone terrace with plenty of outdoor furniture to lounge. Aside from Rob and Sherry Moon Zombie's main house in the Hollywood Hills, the blacked out structure we just took a look at, more recently in 2018, it was reported they also bought the house next door. The shock rocker shelled out more than 4.5 million on the neighbor's house, creating a mini compound. Their homes are in a remote section of the Hollywood Hills between Truesdale Estates and Laurel Canyon. Records show that Zombie purchased the home from two men named Alan Katz and Jerry Simmons, but it was an off-market deal, so unfortunately, no listing photos. Doing some digging on the house in the aerial photos and looking at Google Maps, there's at least some information on Rob's new property addition. The home was originally built in 1957 but had a major remodel at least once since then and now looks to be a contemporary style mini mansion of some sort. Inside the home spans 3,335 square feet of space with three beds and three baths. It seems like either way, it was a smart move for Mr. Zombie. The two homes share one long private driveway and before Rob had no room for off-street parking. Now he can use a driveway and gate if he pleases, and he has a ton of space for vehicles in a large private compound. Both properties combined, the Zombie's main estate in Hollywood Hills they currently live at would have cost them over seven million, but seems like it's been a good investment. Before I wrap this up, have you guys ever seen Rob Zombie's horror basement? Hey, Rob Zombie here, and we're down in the zombie movie archives. So I I thought I would show you some of the stuff. Well, aside from his professional work, he himself is clearly an avid horror fanatic and likes to collect unique masks, props, and movie memorabilia, also from his own films. Sometimes I see people online saying they just bought this, but they, you didn't, I'm sorry. I always want to tell people you're getting ripped off because I actually have everything. In lieu of his movie 31 coming out a few years back, he took Shutter Channel on a tour of his horror basement where he has props from the Halloween series, which he directed the 2007 remake, and many from his own films like House of a Thousand Corpses, my personal favorite. This thing's a nightmare. I don't know how uh, Jake, who played the professor, wore this, but you can't, it weighs a ton. The Devil's Rejects, Lords of Salem, and much more. I don't know which house this amazing basement is located in, but one thing's for sure, I want to go. Honestly, I want one of my own. So now we've taken a look at Rob Zombie's homes, even his amazing horror basement. After seeing his previous Tudor-style home in Hancock Park and his current black, mysterious house in the Hollywood Hills, which was your fave? I really found it hard to choose. Even though his current home is kind of underground and very dark, it's super cool. And I have no doubt that Rob and Sherry Moon have decorated the place to be even more impressive since moving in. I gotta say, from what I've seen, I love his eccentric taste. Not to mention, I'm obsessed with his horror basement setup. I need one of my own. I had a ton of fun doing this one since I love Rob Zombie, so if you guys want to see more videos on metal artists or rockers, be sure to let me know who. I would be glad to. As usual, let me know what you thought about Zombie's homes down in the comments, as well as whose house tour should be up next. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!